The Whiskey Mountain Bighorn Sheep Herd has a long and rich history in Wyoming. Countless hunters and tourists have hunted and photographed bighorns from this mountain over the decades. In past years, sheep have even been transplanted to supplement other herds in the state. But for nearly 30 years, the herd has struggled to stay within desired population levels. In partnership with the Wyoming Wild Sheep Foundation, National Bighorn Sheep Interpretive Center, and the University of Wyoming's Ruckelshaus Institute, the Wyoming Game and Fish Department will conduct a public engagement process in the near future to explore management concerns, issues, and opportunities for the Whiskey Mountain Bighorn Sheep Herd. This herd has struggled to recover from a catastrophic all-age die-off caused by pneumonia back in 1991, causing an estimated 30% decline in the number of sheep. The herd continues to stay below the desired population size primarily because lamb survival is very low likely due to the persistence of lamb pneumonia. At one time, there were an estimated 2,500 sheep in this population. Today, there are about 750. This approach will include a formal collaboration process and include all who are passionate and knowledgeable about the species. The process will begin later this summer or early fall with a situation assessment that will help tailor the collaborative process. Then a series of workshops will be held with all those interested in this herd, along with bighorn sheep specialists from around the country, to begin charting a path toward reversing the declining trend in the Whiskey Mountain bighorn sheep herd. The collaboration process follows similar outreach efforts Game and Fish has done with the public on management topics such as declining mule deer herds and grizzly bear management. Additional details on how the public can be involved will be released later this fall. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.